So free body diagrams, also known as force diagrams, are simply very useful ways to represent all the different types of forces acting on our object. So free body diagrams come in very handy when we talk about Newton's laws of motion and dynamics. So let's look at the following box. Let's suppose the box is being pulled along the XY plane by two people. One person is pulling it with force one with an angle to the horizontal of theta one and the second person is pulling that same box uh, given by force two with an angle of theta two along our x-axis with respect to our x-axis. So we basically choose our y direction going upward to be positive and our x direction going to the right to be positive. So this is our free body diagram also known as the force diagram of this moving object. It shows us all the different types of forces acting on our object, the box shown in this picture. Now, notice these two forces are actually forces along the XY plane. They're two-dimensional vectors and that means each one of these has an X component as well as the Y component. So, we have all the different types of X components, namely two, and the two Y components. So notice these point in the same direction and these point in opposite directions because we choose upward to be positive and downward to be negative. So to find the net force along the x-axis, we add up these two forces and to find the net force along the y-axis, we add up these two forces. So, let's look at the second example. Let's suppose a box is being pulled, or actually a box is traveling with constant velocity along a frictionless horizontal surface. So, because we're assuming it to be frictionless, there is no force pulling on the back on the box backward. By the way, likewise, we assume this situation to also be frictionless. So, let's label all the different types of forces acting on our box. Now, note that because our box is moving with constant velocity along the x-axis, because we have constant velocity, that means we have no acceleration. So our net force along the x-axis is zero. We have no forces acting on our box along the x-axis, but we do have forces acting along our y-axis. Namely, we have the gravitational force that's pulling on our box downward, the weight of the object, and we also have the normal force of the object, which is the table or the horizontal frictionless uh, surface pushing our box upward. So these two forces are exactly the same, have the same magnitude, but are in opposite directions. Note that because our box is not moving along the y-axis, these two forces exactly cancel one another out.